Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet Blitz. In this video I'm going to be showing some stuff in GIMP. I know this isn't the kind of thing I'd normally be doing, but I've been learning some stuff in GIMP recently and thought I should I can show what I can do. This is a picture of me just after I got my hair cut and I'm going to show you how to change an image from like this to any original hair colour to this. Now obviously it's a different hair colour. So this is very simple. First of all you want to actually zoom in. And if you don't know what GIMP is, it is a photo editing software. You can go download this for free in the link in the description. So you need to obviously get your image and then select your tool. I'm selecting the path tool of course, that's what you need to use. And then you need to select all of the hair. So this is all of the stuff that you'll be changing. Now you need to be very specific with this because if you miss out a, a certain part, that part of hair will not be selected. Now I would stop this video while doing this part, but for some reason every time I pause this video while doing that, uh, it seems to actually drag this tool over with it, therefore ruining the picture. So I'm only going to be take a quick second. Now this might not look as good as the actual image I'd done beforehand because I'm trying to be quicker. However, you should spend a little bit more time selecting around the hair just so you know that you're getting all the hair parts so you don't have to do this over and over again. And so all the hair looks selected and as you can see I've just missed a part of my ear as well. Now that this is done, you need to actually just go into select and then from path. If you don't select a from path, it will do the whole image rather than just your hair. So you need to do the whole image. And as I said beforehand, take more time than I did going around the hair. Because when I'm finished, you're going to see there's going to be some bits missing. After you've done this, you need to go into colors and then color balance. Once you've then done this, this is the place where you will actually be changing your color. So as you can see, it's now red, it's now green it's now blue so you just want to change it now obviously some colors don't look perfect with it because it's darker hair so you need to get like a there you go I'll do brown I'll do like a ready color now it's red and all you have to do now is click OK and that will be set to that color go to view or select sorry and then none and as you can now see my hair color is that now as I warned beforehand the reason why it doesn't look as good as the other image I done is because of I didn't take that long going around the image. Go back into this. See, this has gone around all of my normal hairlines and therefore looks better. But with this one, I didn't take that much time to go around the hairlines because I want to be as quick as possible, and that's why it doesn't look as good. So, as I say, take as long as you need to go around all the hairlines to make sure that you've selected the correct parts, and then just do them simple steps. It's as simple as that. Not very hard at all. So that's about it, really. If you like my videos, please try and subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching.